systems to aid hearing impaired patrons in Broadway theaters. In 2005, he accepted from the United States Department of Health and Human Services the Secretary's highest recognition award and in 2009 the Greeny Award from the Numbers City Council and Green Policy Task Force. As a Broadway sound designer, he was nominated for the Lucille Littell Award, a Drama Desk Award, and two Ovation Awards. He is chairman of the board of directors of the Yonkers Partners in Education, a charity dedicated to bringing together the resources of private and public entities to enhance the programs for students in the Yonkers Public Schools. He was also honored to be selected 2009 Grand Marshal of the Younger St. Patrick's Day Parade. Sound Associates is committed to the environment and recently installed new rooftop solar panel arrays that will help with much of the energy needs of their corporate headquarters. Welcome Richard Fitzgerald. You're, you're doing oh, very much speech. <laughs> Tony Ward for singing and dancing. <laughs> Our other distinguished panelist is Ken Dearden, a former real estate investment banker at J.P. Morgan Chase. Ken has extensive experience in real estate mergers and acquisitions, including evaluation of real estate portfolios and capital structures, debt underwriting and structuring of joint venture partnerships. Prior to his career in investment banking, Ken was a mechanical engineer with Bruce Brooks and Associates in Philadelphia. Ken has an MBA from Rotterdam School of Management in the Netherlands and a BS in mechanical engineering from Cornell University. He's also a four-year veteran of the United States Air Force. Ken now serves as chairman of the Yonkers Downtown Bid and is an active member of the BSAC Environmental Education Center in Yonkers. He's a principal of Metro Partners. Two of the most notable projects he's involved with are Metro 92, a four-unit loft-style rental and retail building at 92 Main Street, and 66 Main, a 170-unit retail apartment and retail, and retail building. Welcome, Ken Deere. We both live and have their offices right here in Yonkers. Uh, we're going to have two presentations, and then if we have time, of course, open it up to questions. So uh, let's begin with Richard Terrell. Rich. Good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm Steve. That's a very nice introduction. I, I appreciate it. Uh, last year's uh, sound studies. Uh, okay, now, Tom River Road, right across the parkway from Executive Boulevard, installed some solar panels. Uh, we did a lot of research and, and decided to accept the proposal uh, for a solar electric generating system to be installed by Akina Solar uh, on the main roof of, the, of our uh, on the roof of our main building, and uh, uh, it was a little bit of a challenge. The building is a split level building uh, uh, with about 25,000 square feet of floor space under a 16,000 square uh, foot roof. Uh, to complicate the whole matter, it, the, the roof uh, houses 10 large skylines. Uh, the original system proposed to be delivered, uh, proposed was supposed to deliver 50 kilowatts, the maximum size of the NYSERDA rebate incentive plan. Uh, that power was generated from 294 ballasted, stainless steel, tilt-mounted and delay solar panels and one large inverter. Although designed to reduce our electrical expense by nearly 50%, it required the removal of seven skylights to be replaced by light collecting sun tunnels, a fairly significant and unexpected cost. In the end, Akina Solar modified the proposal to include 150 Andalay solar panels delivering 25 kilowatts to three inverters in the basement without removing any skylights. The incentive program director from NYSERDA, which is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, approved the installation and delivered a rebate at the completion of the installation for 50% of the total installation cost of $200,000. We plan to complete the 50 kilowatt system later this year as Con Edison has approved and installed a net meter. That is, the electric meter runs in reverse when we consume a less, a less electricity than we produce. However, uh, in the meantime, Con Edison and NYSERDA have both changed their policy. NYSERDA does not now give uh, the same rebate. They give, uh, uh, they're offering only $3 per watt, as they used to uh, uh, rebate $4 per watt. Now it's not $3 per watt for the first 50 kilowatts. And, uh, uh, Con Edison will not allow us to install more than 
the uh, maximum amount of electricity used in a short period of time for them is a half hour. If you look on your electric bill, you see uh, how they uh, uh, parse out the, the electricity in, in time periods, time codes. Uh, so they will only allow us to install a total of 48 kilowatts uh, on the roof instead of the 50 plant. Uh, not, a big, uh, not a big difference, but, uh, but it will reduce our, uh, our payback a little bit. Uh, at any rate, the, uh, uh, in addition, I serve a rebate center program uh, to that program. The federal government offers a 30% business tax credit, and the state offers a $5,000 solar tax credit and a 10-year depreciation tax benefit on the increased appraised value of the property. The panels insulate the flat roof, reducing thermal exit and entry coefficients, in addition to reducing harmful expansion and contraction wear and tear on the surface, extending the life of the roof. With, a, uh, with an economic break-even point in less than five years, still, even with the new uh, panels, it's just going to be less than five years, solar electric systems are the most environmentally and economically friendly way of generating electricity today. So if you have any questions right now, we're uh, showing a DVD of the uh, solar installation. It was in February, the middle of the winter. And, uh, uh, but it went in without a hitch. The, uh, uh, the installation, as I had mentioned, is ballasted. There is no connection to the roof. The uh, panels sit on uh, like railroad, like uh, uh, ties. They are uh, stainless steel ties and they uh, just anchor with concrete, uh, little concrete blocks to the roof. And uh, uh, of course, because there's a parapet all around the roof, there really isn't a wind coefficient to deal with. And uh, the system is high enough to uh, uh, to not require any uh, intrusion into the roof. Which of course is really terrific because it doesn't, doesn't, without penetration of the roof we have no uh, uh, damage possibility and of course pounds cover so it saves, saves the, the tar and the uh, other components on the roof from uh, uh, aging. Does anybody have any questions? I thought we do need to respond. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. You know, okay. uh, can't come up with this presentation? Oh, sure. Yeah, well, I can stop it if you want. That's right. No, oh. I don't have a can I can't do this presentation. I'm going to my bio. So two buildings we own actually I'm going to talk about. Main is the 